Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a reaction to Dave Chappelle's um, Sun Meets Kevin Hart Netflix is a joke and this was recommended by Raiden Urbaist. Urbaist, so hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right and let's hop into the video. I at home with my son busted and he said, Dad, Dad, I need $250. He's only 12 years old so I freaked out. What's going on, nigga? Somebody trying to kill you? <laughs> He said, no, no. Kevin Hart's coming to town and I wanted to see his show. I said, well, how much are the tickets? He said, they're $125. I said, God damn, mine only 80. He said, they're cheap. I said, well, why do you need $250 then? He goes, because I want to go with you, Dad, please. Aww. And there it is. So I took him to the show. And uh, we go, we sit right up front. The lights go down and one opening act after another goes on. Then Kevin takes the stage, crowd goes fucking nuts. Thousands of people. I was furious. <laughs> the longer the show went on, the madder I got. Because this show was fucking outstanding. It was maddening. These people were fucking holding their stomachs. My son was slapping his knee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, nigga, I do this too. Kevin says, good night. The crowd goes crazy. And then everyone starts walking to his door and the lights come on. And then my son is just standing there looking at an empty stage. People are pushing past me and nobody's recognizing me. I'm like, man, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> I said, come on, son, let's get out of here. And then my son looks back at me and he says, dad, please, please, I have to meet him. I was like, oh my God. Aww. So I took him backstage. I've known Kevin for years, but can you believe I was scared to knock on his dressing room door? I almost said, I said, son, I haven't seen him for a long time, but I... And, and one of Kevin's goons opened the door. Goons. Hey, what's up, Dave Chappelle? What are you doing, man? It's good to see you, brother. What you doing in this area? This is a terrible area. Uh, yeah, actually, I live around here. Listen, <laughs> um... <laughs> Is, uh, is Kevin here? Uh, my son just wanted to meet him real quick. Well, I don't know, because Kevin's about to eat dinner. Just then, Kevin came around the corner to see who it was. What? Oh, shit. What's up, Dave? Come on back. I was just about to have dinner. I don't know if you guys ate, but you're welcome to join me if you'd like. And then my son pushed past me some cold shit. He goes, actually, Mr. Hart, we haven't eaten in several hours. <laughs> Man, Kevin took us into his back room. This guy had a fucking spread. It was Tuesday night. This motherfucker was having Sunday dinner. It was steaks, chops, corn with butter all over it. My son was eating all fast, embarrassed me. I was like, slow down, son. That is embarrassing for kids. You gotta think that you're starving. <laughs> Dave is rich, too. I looked too. over in the corner and there was a, it was for a sure. box custom-made jerseys for the local team. Each one was hand-stitched, and on the back, they stitched on the K heart on all of them. Kevin saw me staring at that box, and he went over and grabbed one of them jerseys, and he walked right to my son. He said, hey, little man, I want you to have this. And my son was like, oh, this, is hard. this is when I got mad. He goes, if your father ever makes you mad, put that on, and he walked out. <laughs> Oh, that was some cold shit. <laughs> then I realized, I looked up what Kevin made on Google. I couldn't believe that shit. Kevin mm. is the first comedian that a Drake song could be about. <laughs> Kevin could walk around his house and sing All Me, and the whole song would still be true. <laughs> got everything, I got everything. I cannot complain, I could die. I don't even know how much I really made. I forgot. It's a lot. Fuck that, never mind what I got. And it's like, like Kevin come to bed. He'd be like, ho, shut the fuck up. I got way too much. You know how much money you have to have to tell a girl to shut the fuck up? 
Mm. I have quiet please money at best. <laughs> I'd have to take a loan out for shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's Jay Z money. And Beyonce got no. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> a cool video i really like gabe Chappelle a lot i really like that him and kevin are cool that they're close i watched the joe rogan podcast and it showed that dave showed up to i guess one of kevin's like comedic shows and that he just did a performance right then and there i don't know i'm glad that they're like cool and close and like good friends i heard that dave Chappelle has a farm or something this dude has a farm. I mean, I guess it makes sense if he went to Africa. I don't know where, so it makes sense. But thank you guys for watching my video. See you guys in my, in my oh my gosh, if I can talk. See you guys in my next video. Bye.